So let me invite Kitty up to the stage. <laughs> Excellent. Well, welcome to the stage. Everyone. So, so while we try to make the laptop plugging in not awkward, I'll ask her a question. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. So, Kitty, why don't you tell everybody who you are and what you do? Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Kitty Gross. I'm an engineering manager at Pivotal Cloud Foundry, and I'm currently enjoying allocation to the BuildPacks team. Awesome. Awesome. So, you have a demo for us today. I do. Excellent. That sounds good. Um, but I think you also brought a slide first. So why don't we talk about what your demo is going to be, and then you could show us some boxes. Yeah, absolutely. So um, you want to see the boxes? Sure. Yeah, show me the boxes first. Okay. It'll help. The, the diagram helps everything. OK, it's boxes. <laughs> so um, so uh, I'm here today to talk about the Build Packs team's um, newest feature set, multi-build packs. Um, we rolled it out about a month and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And using the latest version of the CLI, you can start using it today. Right. Do you want to know what it does? Yeah. Okay. What's, what's multi-build pack all about? <laughs> Excellent. So it allows you to extend um, build packs without having to fork them, uh, maintain your own version mm -hmm. of them, or push an image. Yeah. Um, most importantly, probably, you can use more than one language in a single app uh, without forking a build That's pack. That's kind of cool. There's yeah. a lot of potential there. How many people here have forked a build pack before? <laughs> yeah, I see hands raised. You don't have to do that anymore, so pay attention. All right. <laughs> Do we, do we want to uh, kind of explain yeah, what it's going to do? Absolutely. So um, this is a very abstract engineer's artist interpretation of what's going on. Um, <laughs> and if you're familiar with build packs at all, uh, you'll know that classic, uh, classic build packs have three scripts. Mm -hmm. um, they use detect, compile, and release. But the new build packs in this paradigm have replaced compile with supply and finalize which splits out the um, retrieval of the dependencies mm -hmm. and putting them in the right place and getting everything packaged up and ready to go. So um, what you're seeing right here, all in abstract, is let's say that you have uh, three build packs you're running in a row. Um, for, for argument's sake, let's say they're all languages you're familiar with. So you have a Ruby app that is, for some reason, shelling out to Go and, um, let's see, Python. So this doesn't seem like a good idea. No, I don't recommend it, actually, although okay. <laughs> the ones that get stuck in my head are always the bad ideas people told me they do. Cool. <laughs> so, so let's make that easier. Yeah, <laughs> um, exactly. <laughs> so your bad ideas, like we can help you do it without breaking quite as much. Great. Um, so yeah, uh, in that scenario, let's say um, you have a Python build pack. It's just going to run its supply part of the script. Then you're going to run your, what was the other one I said, Go. Then it'll run the Go supply script. And then since the Ruby build pack's the final build pack, it'll run its own supply script and also finalize to round everything up. So what it's showing is setting up the dependencies directories for each build pack, cool. and then finalizing it and getting it ready to ship. Awesome. Let's see it. Awesome. OK. So once this is going on, Cool. All right. Um, also, before we continue with this, you can learn about it in more technical detail, shameless plug here, at 11.15 in the Shanghai room. Uh, the that was 11.15, Shanghai? 11.15, in Shanghai, downstairs. Um, the illustrious Stephen Levine, who's already been mm -hmm. introduced, and myself are going to be talking about um, more of the details of uh, the new build packs paradigm and also some of the future applications that we foresee. Cool. That'll be neat. Um, but after that plug, cool. Now I'm going to get started staging this app. Uh, so this is a really simple, bare bones Sinatra app. Um, not surprisingly, one of the build packs it's using is the Ruby build pack. Sure. Um, you're probably familiar with the Ruby build pack. What you're probably not familiar with is the one preceding it, the apt build pack. At least I don't think you are, because we wrote it last week. <laughs> um, <laughs> it uh, has the distinction of being our first supply build pack, um, supply only. So that's digging into the idea that you can get a lot more modular with multi-build packs and have really specific single-use case mm. um, supporting build packs. So what does the app build pack actually do? Yes, the app build pack, um, you might be able to guess from the way app is spelled, it, uh, it supports apps that require custom app packages. 
So I can install packages. Yes, you can, wow. you can install kind of whatever neat. packages you want. Yeah. Um, I chose kind of dorky one because I was on a Lufthansa flight uh -huh. and was focusing on the fact that I don't know German. And it turns out there's a package called Translate that, as near as I can tell, exists exclusively to translate English to German and German to English. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So uh, we just I want to show this quickly. We've packaged this up. You can see it going through. Um, yeah, you can see that. Cool. Uh, you can see it going through apt build pack, updating the apt cache, downloading packages, installing packages, and then going through all of the usual Ruby output you'd mm -hmm. be seeing. Um, and now we can get it running on port 8888. Fingers crossed. We're doing it live. Yeah, fun thing here. Chip was like, it's great. <laughs> Do it live. It invigorates the audience because they want to see if you'll fail. <laughs> really? Good. There you go. See, I told you. They, they, yeah, they, they it was really, really attempt. comforting. Um, made, made preparation fun. So uh, let's see. Here we go. Continue. Does it work? Yes. What it's what doing right now is looking Whoa. up cloud and telling you all of the ways you can say cloud. Incidentally, the first one it's returning is mushroom cloud. So let's change that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's look for a better internet word. Uh, how about <laughs> kitten? Yay, internet. Hey, okay. there we kitten. go. Kitten, yeah, not much better. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. But um, this is. This is doing something really basic. It's just taking like an apt package, shelling out, and using it directly from whichever build pack you want, which I think is pretty neat. And um, I wrote in like five minutes, and so can you. And what's really neat about it was I noticed that it was running on your local laptop. Yes, yes, it was. Using CF Local, which is kind of neat. Exactly, which I encourage everybody to use. It's yeah. really fantastic, especially in case you didn't notice when I walked up here. Nice little MacBook. Air, Mac uh -huh. Air, so um, not running with much RAM right now, and yet running perfectly. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. How about a hand for Kitty? Thank you.